The periplasm of a gram-negative cell lies between the inner and outer membrane and contains important proteins that bind nutrients for transport into the cell and other proteins that carry out enzymatic reactions. Many periplasmic proteins are delivered to the periplasm by a common pathway called the general secretion pathway involving SEC-A protein. There are several steps in the general secretion pathway. First, the protein is translated in the cytoplasm. The presecretion protein is captured by a piloting protein called SEC-B. SEC-B binds to the unfolded protein and helps to keep it in an unfolded state, which will make secretion through a membrane much easier than if it has a chance to fold. SEC-B delivers the protein to SEC-A, a structure peripherally associated with the membrane-spanning SEC-YEG translocon, the pore in the membrane through which the protein will be passed. SEC-A is an ATP ace that appears to act like a plunger. It binds to ATP, allowing it to insert deep into the SEC-YEG channel, shoving about 20 amino acids of the target export protein into the channel. ATP hydrolysis causes SEC-A to release the protein and withdraw. At this point, SEC-A can bind fresh ATP, rebind the target protein, and reinsert, pushing another 20 amino acids through. Proteins needed in the periplasm have cleavable signal sequences at their amino terminal ends. Immediately following translocation into the periplasm, periplasmic signal peptidases, such as one called LEP-B, snip off the amino terminal signal sequence of the protein. The mature protein is released into the periplasm. Periplasmic proteins delivered by the SEC system arrive unfolded and inactive and require periplasmic chaperones to guide their tertiary folding.